that's the way it started. It's a dishwasher motor. Scrap it up. The two ladies, Michelle and Leanne, I commented on your video the other night. Some nice trinkets on the back of that dishwasher. It's the same motor. Just give it a try. Cast aluminum and copper. You ain't got a whole lot to lose. Even if you're not happy with it, you still throw it in your motor bucket, right? You get more for uh, motors than you do for shred. That's the com That's what I meant by that comment. Nice trinkets. Plus you had the brass, the copper, the hydro wire, all the, all the nice stuff on there. I find not talking in a video. I can get the get it done quicker. I'm pretty sure you've seen exactly what I was doing. This is only plastic. You can beat the shit out of it with a hammer. It'll pop right off. You're not going to put it back together. These blades usually just pop right off at the top anyway. They generally are stainless steel, non-magnetic. This is what dices up whatever food is in your dishwasher. No, they're not all the same. But you, uh, well, you didn't see me take all those dishwashers apart. He's got a little piece of steel in the middle there. See that? That's what's being attractive. See, otherwise he's not. That's an easy out. It's actually uh, the tip of this. See, it was ready to go anyways. That's an easy out. Pop that right out of there. This will not come right off because they're normally screwed on, so I'll take this apart and we can hang on to the bottom end, right? And you gotta make sure that one little bracket, that little bolt comes out too. Otherwise you get dirty, dirty aluminum for that. And that's not good after all your hard work, right? And they give you dirty aluminum. These dirty buggers, aren't they? <laughs> no pun intended. It comes out pretty easy. Majority of the stuff that screws into cast aluminum, unless it's been there for a hundred years, comes out very easy. Cast aluminum is not one there to hold on to it. Like I said, unless it's been there for about a hundred years. Some of them might not come out right away. That one. That one, they can, they can work on you. So we're going to pop this off and go from the other direction. Hammer. Yeah, we're getting freezing rain right now. A little bit of snow is done. See, it's not like you're going to put it back together. Screws right off. The rest follows. I don't think that's brass, I think it's steel, that's the part that's still in the blade. These are screwed in. I do believe it's the steel base holding it, not the cast aluminum on the other end. Yep, these are just going to snap. Sometimes a little jolt like that breaks them loose. And not this time. Nope. So, many alternatives. I'm going to turn them sideways so I can get at them easier. But it's the same as the one I just showed you. Yep. Chisel time. 
You want to bust it by the head, that way you can still unscrew the other part, right? Where is me chisel? There it is. aluminum clean or broken doesn't matter right well, clean or broken as long as it's clean oh, she might have jarred loose no nope. I said it looked like it it's popping out on the back side here Get you out of there one way or the other. Right. That one was already out. Mm. Oh, be stubborn little bugger. Ow. Nice. More cuts. Why not? Comes with the territory. Where'd you go? Under the bench. What a shock. I'm trying out a new pill for my back. So far it seems to be working. Oh, isn't that lovely? Told them I needed something legal to keep driving. Because if I can't drive, then I can't take the pill. <laughs> I'm on the pill. <laughs> yeah, I am a little old for the pill. You still don't want to come out, do you? I guess sometimes you do get an unruly one. You want a pair of vice grips. They do a nice job too. There we go. Like I said, it's probably going to snap. Yep, I knew it would. And I'm leaking. Isn't that lovely? I'll be right back. Alrighty. Yeah, we're still leaking a little bit. It doesn't want to stop. Get these little guys out yet. I guess they've uh, they've used a stronger bonding agent than what they normally do. They're not seized in there. They are uh, you know they put that shit on like a lock type.
motor was never meant to come apart. And keep breaking the bolts off. I'm gonna end up throwing you in the dirty aluminum. Are you gonna come off for me? Yep, that's fine. Three bolts. snap too. So. That's not good. They're on the same side they both snap so well we'll just bust that piece off. Right? They can both go in the iron and aluminum and the rest will go in the clean. Like I said, broken or not, as long as there's no steel on it, it's still cast aluminum. One way or the other, you're going to clean it. Correct? <laughs> Alrighty. Another dishwasher motor. This one's got less tape and crap on it. Still doesn't mean it won't be a difficult little bugger. Yeah, if the strings are cut, it's easier to take apart. Getting a nice rain out there. Too bad it wasn't springtime. I have the garden planted. This would be a perfect gentle rain, you know? already thinking about that. We're doing away with the bathtubs for the garden. We're going to do finish it off like I did with the one, a raised bed. I'm sorry, you're not seeing what I'm doing. I apologize. I'm busy talking and playing with this motor, trying to get all the little stringies off of it. Alrighty. It's the same as the other one. Just this one was a little harder to get apart. You're not going to have them all super easy. But like I said, everybody likes to throw them dishwasher motors away. This is two in a row that are identical twins. They're both copper. So, that's why I, uh, like if you don't want to take the motor apart, at least put it in your motor bucket, right? Your copper motors, you know, still worth more. I know it gives the dishwasher a little extra weight. But Dishwashers are just shred anyways. So. This is money in the bank. Woo. Everybody likes money in the bank. One of these days I'll buy a new one. I only think about it when I am using this one. I've already refurbished this one. I put new handles on it because the handles wouldn't spring back anymore so I took the blade off of the broken one and put them on this one. You get a few more miles out of it, right? It depends on what brand you buy too. 
pay 60 bucks for a three pack or if you pay 10 bucks for a three pack. You know what you're getting then, right? <laughs> Low grade set. And these are made by Jet. Well, the handle anyways. I'm not going to say the blade is because the blade's off of another one. So you just kind of comb them out a bit. These aren't bad as far as varnish goes. There's not a whole pile on there to really restrict you to have any specialty tools. But if you have specialty tools, all the power to you. Yeah, this one's going to come out easier than the other one. See that? The vice is nice to have. I've never tried it any other way, really. I know a few of you come across a nice bench vice once in a while, right, in your travels. Don't be shy. Scoop it up. You can always sell it to somebody or hang on to it. You don't last forever with our job. There you have it. Let's take the little pieces of plastic out. Come on. Another copper motor. Just like the one we threw in there. Actually, that's not the one. Oh, the other one we threw in was a little heavier duty. But otherwise, it's the same machine. Money in the bank. Number two copper. I think it's 250 a pound around here, so... Yeah, it's worth it, I think. This only goes in my shred bucket. I don't get heavy steel like most of you guys do for that. So, there you have it. That's what I'm doing today. We got a few more in the bucket yet. Those are the dishwashers I tore apart there a few days back. Let's see what's all in there yet. Yeah, there's another one like that. And then it looks like one already torn apart. He's a little different. His windings are a little different. The rotor would only come out that way. See, see how the difference is in that? So I'm thinking cut it on this side, pull it out that way because there's less here, right? Right? See the difference? Hoping you're seeing that. So we cut them on this side, right? And pull them out the other way. That's next on the list, maybe? Yeah, why not? Okay. Let's get a weld there. I don't know why. There's nothing there. Maybe just to keep the plates from coming apart. I don't know. There's a little tack weld all sides. You don't need to break that because you're just pulling the copper out. I'll get it set up. Just running a comb through its hair. I don't know how easy this one's going to come out. It's got a lot of hard varnish on it. Straighten out its hair, it might come out a little easier, maybe, maybe not, you know. on this one and I didn't take it off and the way it was wound I've never seen that well I have but I've never understood why you know why they would do that I need a stronger screwdriver one that I've broken the end off of the handle in that is. Yeah, you're 
coming out. <laughs> come on, baby. It's not all going to come out in a bunch. Like I said, it's got a lot of varnish on it. Okay. Now, a little trick I learned. If it don't come out for you right away, use the side cutters. Let it help. It, it can grab and pull for you. See? There we go. Well, that is half of it. I just need the other half. Maybe it'll come on a little easier. Who knows? Right? <laughs> I need a little more leverage. How about this guy? Think he'll help? I can hook him onto the bottom of the vise there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, we have to try a little bit at a time here. on than the other ones did. Maybe that'll help. Yep, there, that one popped out. Okay, hang on to it. There we go. Hope I ain't shaking you off the table too much. We gotta do the other side. It should come right out. I said should. <laughs> yeah. the bottom good okay side cutter trick squeeze but don't cut it there see convince it to come out boom That's a nice little 